Hey, what's up my little title tells? How y'all doing today? Well, if baby, if you are Cardi B and Tasha K, this saga is not going to end. Baby, we are in book three of Game of Thrones. Y'all, Cardi B has just fired all subpoenas to Tasha K's bank demanding answers on wire transfers and fights over four million. Y'all, she fired, listen, Cardi B's lawyers, she's talking about Tasha K's kids ain't going to college. You know whose kids are going to go to college, right? Her lawyers. Because, baby, those hourlies, those fees, Cardi got free time. Cardi got the money. Cardi got all sets money. She is not letting this go, and she is sending a message to Tasha K. Sometimes, listen, whether you think Tasha K is right or wrong, sometimes I really got to wonder, do you think Tasha K regrets going after Cardi B? And doubling down on all that stuff. Do you think she regrets it? Maybe she doesn't. But like sometimes it's kind of like. Because Tasha ain't letting this go. I mean Cardi is not letting this go. Y'all listen. She filed all fired off subpoenas. In an effort to track down money. Held by Tasha K. Who was ordered to pay the $4 million For spreading lies about her. Mm. According to court documents. Obtained by Radar Online. Cardi has informed the judge presiding over Tasha K's bankruptcy of subpoenas being sent to Morris Legal and Tax LLC, Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, Discover Financial and American Express, not Discover Card. Cardi, stop playing. Listen, I was with her for the, le- the Morgan Legal and Tax LLC. I was with her for Bank of America. JP Morgan Chase, yes. American Express, absolutely discover financial where do you think how do you think tasha k is hiding discover card money like do they even get balances did tasha get the discover card when she was in college i mean for real i don't know i didn't know discover card gave balances like that anyway Cardi has demanded the companies turn over the information regarding tasha's finances specifically the bodak yellow rapper demanded mm. Morris tax and legal turn over Tasha's tax returns from 2019 to 2022. Now, here's the thing with that before I go on. Why? The IRS has her tax returns. It's in a U.S. bankruptcy court. The bankruptcy court has access to her tax returns. Why is she going to her legal accountant? Again, in my opinion, this is Cardi B trying to get uh, Tasha K. Uh, uh, hemmed up in any which way about lying to bankruptcy court because even if her taxes show let's just say her taxes show she made 110,000 and she told the bank I'm sorry the tax court that she only made 105,000 you saw what happened to Joe and Teresa Gudici even th- I think they were just hiding like $8,000 worth of stuff and they both got sent to jail so part of the thing People are like, oh my God, Cardi let it go. Cardi is convinced and her lawyers had told her that Tasha is hiding money, like Cardi said, embezzling money. Even to be fair, I don't think you can embezzle money from yourself. Even if it's a company and they're the owners, it's like a thing. You can't embezzle money by yourself. But I get Cardi's point. They are, she, the people are telling her that she embezzled money. She did this, she did that. So she's going on a digging session. Here's the thing. I'm not saying those lawyers are wrong, but the fact that Cardi B is paying them billable hours to keep digging for this and they haven't found anything yet lets me know that whatever's going on, either one, mm, Tasha's house is in order. Or two, they just have to keep digging deeper. But that's the thing you have to worry about with lawyers sometimes. Sometimes they will take you like, oh, it looked like. And before you know it, you spent umpteen thousand dollars in fees. Anyway, in addition, she's demanded all documents Tasha K provided to the tax company to prepare her returns. Now, I don't know if that's actually a legal scope. That's actually a little bit interfering. Like, what do you mean all documents I provided? Babe, I owe you money. You do not have the you do not have the right to go through every single document I've ever had. That seems like it's an overreach, you know? Cardi, but again, you request what you can. Cardi also requested 
All documents and communications received by or sent to third parties other than the debtor, including but not limited to the Internal Revenue Service regarding the debtors, that's Tasha's, finances, employment, income, expenses, business, or business interests, including Kibi Studios, Mona Lisa Brown, LLC, and Yellen Entertainment, LLC. She's also asking um, the banks to turn over information of all deposits, withdrawals, transfers, copy of front and back canceled checks, wire information, and account statements. Okay, so listen, this definitely is Cardi's right to ask for this, 100%. And this is just my opinion. Let me know if you agree. Please let me know respectfully in the comments. But I do think that she wants the documents Tasha provided to the tax company to prepare her returns. The IRS is not accusing Tasha K of fraud. The IRS is confident that the information Tasha K turned over to them is accurate. The tax company and her preparers do have client confidentiality. So unless she's alleging that there is fraud in her actual tax records to be prepared, this seems like a big overreach. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to see every single receipt I made unless you are alleging fraud. Which brings me back to, are Cardi B's lawyers just taking her for a ride? Because a lot of these billable hours, I get it. You're digging for anything. So you can go to the, the judge and be like, throw her in jail. She committed fraud. She fra- It was fraudulent against the court. But the fact that, In the beginning, Cardi B was like, you're stealing, you're going to jail, you're fraudulent. And I get it. She said it because of what her lawyers told her. But now it's how many months in and you guys keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper. And every single layer, you find nothing. So you're digging deeper. Now you want to see the receipts and stuff she gave her accountant. How would you even be able to make sense of that? What are you going to do now? Give the receipts and then ask that what, Tasha K come and sit in the office and explain what every receipt was? Oh, well, that was for a Slurpee. That was for a pack of chewing gum. Again, I'm not saying this Cardi, it, Cardi doesn't have a right to do it because Tasha did torture Cardi. Listen, whether you love Tasha or not, she tortured Cardi. And she was found that she made up the stuff in a court of law. Now, believe what you want, but that's actually what happened. So I understand the way Cardi wants to stick it in and she's not letting up because when she begged Tasha to take her foot off her neck, Tasha wouldn't. Tasha buckled down. So now like ain't no fun that the rabbit has a gun and now ta- uh, that uh, Cardi B now has her foot and Tasha's begging for mercy. I mean, kind of Tasha's being so unserious and Cardi B is like, nah. But my issue with Cardi is, has anybody ever thought that your lawyer is the one taking you for a ride? Because, listen, like, this is going back to season one of Narcos with the embezzlement. She is not the Ozarks. Like, come on. Anyway. uh, So where are we at with this? Um, Okay. So anyway. I'm trying to see if there's any new information. I'm reading this in real life. Uh, Cardi has demanded Tasha show up to court with her financial records. Recently, as we first reported, Tasha offered to pay $220,000 to Cardi over the next couple of years to settle the debt. I'm going to hurt her. The proposed plan is yet to be approved by the court. (laughs) Tasha K is so unserious. And I see why. You know what the funny thing is? These two are more alike than not. I'm not saying what they did is alike. But there's something, they're, they're both very dogmatic, if that makes any sense. And they're both not going to let it go. And Tasha is unserious. So as much as we tell Cardi, girl, let it go, Tasha keeps antagonizing her. And as much as Tasha antagonizes, Cardi B is like, baby, I'll see this to the end. Y'all listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll keep y'all posted. But I am interested to see if Tasha's uh, thing of paying 220000 a month actually gets approved. Because if it does... Oh, I know Cardi's going to be mad. Anyway, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.